Hi all, in this video, we are going to discuss about how Odoo manages shipping policy and picking policy. In Odoo, picking policy determines how the products are being taken from the inventory when a customer places order. Picking policy are of two types, that is when all products are ready and the second one is ship products as soon as available with back orders. This can be explained through an example. Okay, so the first case is ship products as soon as available with back orders. When a customer places an order, let's say uh, the quantity B5 and uh, the on-hand quantity is less than of the demanded quantity. In such cases, the customer required the complete quantity. So he can proceed with his order um, by creating back orders. The second case is that uh, when all products are ready, which means that whenever uh, a customer places an order, the demanded quantity is higher than the on-hand quantity. In such cases, we cannot proceed the order. So let's check how Odoo manage this. Now let's check how Odoo manage shipping policy and picking policy. In order to manage picking policies, just get into the inventory module. And under configuration settings, we can choose a picking policy. Odoo basically provide two uh, policies, picking policies that is ship all product at once as well as ship product as soon as available with back orders. So let me choose the first option ship products as soon as available with back orders which means that uh, whenever a customer demands for a product and the demanded quantity is not available in the stock then uh, we can create back order. Okay so uh, once the uh, quantity is updated in the warehouse uh, the created back orders will be delivered to the customer. So in order to demonstrate that we have to create a product. So let me create a product. Let the product be laptop. And let's make it as favorite. Can also set the price for this setting it as $100. And uh, also set the vendor. So setting the vendor price as $80. And we need to update the quantity. So click on new to update the quantity. So currently the quantity will be updated in the location WH stocks. The product is laptop and uh, we need to set a counted quantity. Now let me set the counted quantity as 5. And here you can see three button history, apply as well as clear. History button is used uh, to show the previous movement of the product. Apply is used to, to set the quantity. And clear button is to remove the, uh, the qu quantity, that is the counted quantity. So once you click on update, I mean apply button, you can see that the on hand quantity will be updated into 5. Now just navigate into sales module. As we choose a uh, picking policy as ship product as soon as available with back orders, we can see that under other info, you can see the shipping policy is changed into as soon as possible. Okay, now uh, back to the order lines and choose a product. The product is laptop. Now changing the quantity into eight. Okay, so currently, uh, the warehouse has only the stock of five and the customer is requesting for eight quantities and let's choose a customer let the customer be azure interior and let me save and confirm this so as the warehouse only contains five products and the demanded quantity is higher than the on hand quantity we can see that the complete quantity is not available which that is why which is indicated in red color okay now let's confirm this. So once you confirm this, uh, you can see that a three delivery has created. That is a smart tab has triggered here and just click on uh, the smart tab. So here we can see that first uh, process is ready, which is uh, it is about to pick. I mean, it is about to pack uh, the product from the warehouse uh, that is WH stock. And currently the 5 quantity is reserved because the warehouse has only 5 quantity and that quantity is reserved. Okay, now let me validate this. So once you try to validate, uh, you can see that we have to set the quantities. Okay, that to be packed. Okay, so now let's click on apply button. So here you can see that uh, a wizard has triggered. 
like uh, to create back orders why this wizard has a trigger because the customer has demanded for eight quantities so if uh, the customer want the rest of three uh, quantities extra we can click on create back orders in order to deliver that three products once the quantity is updated in warehouse so let me click on create back orders so here currently uh, five quantities will be delivering and once the product is back in stock the the rest of the products will be delivered to the customer okay now back to the transfers now we have to pack the uh, product okay uh, so currently uh, sorry uh, not packing currently the product is in uh, packing location that is the source location is packing zone of the warehouse and uh, the product need to be moved into the destination location that is a wh uh, output okay so let's click on validate button and uh, click on apply we need to create back orders so click on uh, create back orders so that file quantity is currently updated and click on transfers and we need to deliver this product to the customer okay so click on validate button click on apply and uh, just create the back orders so the customer require complete quantity okay but currently the warehouse has on only five stock that's why uh, the five stock is delivered to the customer now once the product is uh, back in stock the rest of the three quantities can be also delivered okay so now we can see that uh, when you back to the products i mean we need to update the quantity see here we can see that the for forecasted quantity is minus three because um the customer has requested for eight quantity okay so now let me update the quantity into five and let me apply this so here you can see that now the forecasted quantity is 2 and the on hand quantity is 5 and let's back to the orders in quotation let's use the quotation that we have created and now we can deliver the back orders also okay because uh, now the uh, product that we have created for back order is currently available in the stock so here we can also validate this so click on validate button okay now we need to set the done quantities we need to deliver three quantities so click on validate button by setting the done quantity now set the done quantity that to be uh, that to be transferred in the uh, destination location that is a warehouse output okay so we have set it and click on validate button now we can also deliver this uh, that is created back order uh, product to the customer okay so let uh, let's set it as uh, three okay and just click on validate button so currently uh, the demanded quantity is delivered to the customer as we choose uh, the picking policy as shift product as soon as available with back orders okay now let's discuss about uh, the second picking policy which is ship all product at once so uh, in case of the picking policy ship all product at once means if the on hand quantity is less than the demand then on the transfer will be in waiting state okay so back to the inventory module now we can go to the configuration settings and we need to change the uh, shipping i mean picking policy now let me save this and we need to create a new product so let's create a new product named uh, cable and let me save this product also update the quantity let the updated quantity be yeah let it be two okay and let me set the on hand quantity as 2 and you can see that under cable the updated quantity is 2 now let's move on to the sales module as we choose the uh, picking policy as ship all product at once we can see that under other info of the quotation the shipping policy will be automatically uh, changed into we can only deliver the products when the or 
we can only ship the products when all products are ready okay now back to the order line and choose the product that we have created that is cable and we can uh, set the demanded quantity as pop so currently the demanded quantity is four and the on hand quantity is two which means uh, the demanded quantity is higher than the on hand quantity so we cannot make delivery for this because we don't have sufficient uh, quantity in the warehouse okay so let me save this yeah we need to give the customer let the customer uh, be the credit and let's save this okay so now uh, we can confirm the quotation so once you confirm the quotation you can see that a smart app uh, a delivery a smart app has created uh, with all the transfers in waiting state which means that we cannot deliver until and unless the quantity the demanded quantity and the on hand quantity is same okay thank you for watching this video hope this concept is clear if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment